morning, everyone. Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. That is our friendly crow. <laughs> he has a lot to say. The people have left, so the crows are back. <laughs> anyway, we are... He, he has... To... He wants to contribute to the podcast. Obviously. He really does. He has a lot to say. Uh, we are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah. Today is Wednesday, September fourteenth. We are, um, as Mavis was saying, it's uh, too late to podcast on Monday, too early to podcast on Friday. So we're kind of throwing it at you in the middle of the week. Yeah. Since we didn't give you either one, so. Um, it's oh my gosh the time around shows kind of collapses yeah and it gets very weird you know it's it's stretching out and stretching out and then all of a sudden the weekend is gone and you have all this stuff that needs to do happen like u-haul trailers going back and that kind of thing and it's just time gets wacky also exhausted yes it was a very it was a wonderful wonderful weekend yeah. but i'm tired <laughs> We uh, drove back and forth each day from home. Yes, we did. Thank you very much. Um, and that's a two-hour drive one way, so that's just a lot a, of driving. A lot of getting up at five o'clock in the morning. Oh my god! And a lot of driving. So just exhausting. And it was it, it was great because we got to sleep in our own beds. The dogs were taken care of. We didn't have to worry about them. Yeah. So um, it's what worked. But just tired. I really do not like getting up before the sun. I just, my body does not like it. And it happens a lot during the winter, but my body is not happy when I am up before the sun. Yeah. Um, however, such is life and we are back and everything is good. Um, <laughs> so we have a couple of things to talk about. Um, today's the 14th, which means that tomorrow is the 15th with rapid math. And that means that is Agatha Christie day in our household. So uh, invoices will be going out tomorrow for those of you that are on the subscription method. Um, you will be getting them around noon, I think. Yeah. And um, if you would like to purchase one, just go ahead and pay your invoice. For those of you that have not gotten it before, tomorrow the Agatha Christie's will go live and you can go in and, and go ahead and purchase it. For those of you that have no idea what I am talking about, every month we do a mystery sock set that is based around one of the books by Agatha Christie. That is the what, our theme for the year. So um, was last month uh, Death on the Nile? No. Um... Last month was, oh, um, The Sleeping Murders, the last J Marvel. So that was last month. Um, and this month, who knows what it's going to be? We I don't. certainly don't. <laughs> but it will be something and it will be beautiful. Right. All right, so that's that. Um, we are closing the Hedgehog. The Hedgehog is closed. Hedgehog's still open because we still, based on what we ordered, we still have a couple left. Okay. So. All right. So there are a couple of uh, Hedgehog Animal Guide boxes still available if you would like to purchase them. However, once it hits our limit of what we ordered, that is it. It's done. Um, so if you're interested in that, just look up um, Animal Guide Box and it will show up. Right. I will link both the Agatha Christie and the Hedgehog listing down below. If you buy the hey, uh, Agatha Christie today, you will get last month's and then you will get invoice tomorrow for next month's or this month's um so if you only want this month's wait to wait till tomorrow to buy okay all right uh what else um admin wise i think that's pretty much it right oh you know what we do have we have two um dk halloween countdowns left so if you wanted our Halloween uh, advent slash countdown, we have two of the DK versions left. The same fingering's all sold out, um, but we do have two of the DK versions left. So if you wanted that, you can grab one of those. Okay. All right. All right, then shall we talk about this weekend? Sure. Oh my goodness. This was a weekend. We did New Jersey Sheep and Wolf Festival. It was wonderful. Um, we did our setup on Friday took much longer than I expected it to. We were there for four and a half hours. Yeah, it really. It just, I don't know what it was. It took much longer than it should have. Right. Because um, usually we're like a two hour, two and a half hour setup. Um, right. I think we just, we packed poorly. We were brain dead when we got there, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Because I mean, the furniture is easier to set up. It's just, I don't know why it took so long. It took a very long time. However, 
by the time it got together, it was beautiful. Yeah, it looked Our booth looks so pretty. Um, and we got a lot of comments from people, very, very nice comments from people about our booth. So thank you everybody. And thank you to everybody who came to see us and bought from us and talked to us. It was really, really lovely to see everybody. Um, thank you to Amy and Heather for being our Diet Coke mules. Oh my God. Um, thank you to Amy who couldn't come on Saturday. So she sent her friends with she, Diet Cokes for She us. made her friends stop on the way to get a stuck. And they had to take a picture of a Helen accepting the Diet Coke to send to her because that was the only way she was going to accept that she had, that they had <laughs> they actually their done duties. what they were supposed to do. <laughs> and then she came on Sunday with more of them. Right. And peach pies. Right. So Amy, thank you so very much. Um, thank you to Bonnie who couldn't come but sent her friend who FaceTimed her all the way around the booth right. so that she could pick out what she wanted. Um, to Heather, our very good friend Heather who came and just, when you guys, anybody who came and saw the, um, the dream catchers that were crocheted all the, way, all the way around the booth, Heather did all of those for us. So, um, and she also brought us Diet Coke. Right and support mental support she always brings <laughs> mental support so thank you guys very very much and then a special thank you to april who brought us another kind of gift she brought us candles right she wanted to make sure we would be okay with um slightly snarky off color candle labels and we're like ah, we curse like drunken sailors are you <laughs> yeah. kidding me somebody asked why uh I didn't, when the video that I put up of us uh, packing the trailer and uh, setting up why we didn't have the sound on, so <laughs> they could be chip monkey. And I'm like, um, because it's very not sufficient for work. Not safe for work <laughs> at all. So, uh, there is a lot of cursing that yeah. goes on to that. Um, but April found a couple of uh, women. She likes to support women owned small businesses. And she found a couple of them and she got us candles this one is squeeze the day from bossy pants oh my god this smells so good it is lemon lemon, lemon verbena, verbena but it's lemon with just a <laughs> a tiny 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 hint of sugar because um neither of us like the overly sugary like the cookies and right the we don't like that cake batter type things but this one has just the tiny tiniest hint oh it smells so good smell good smell good. good smell good it smell good. good okay this one is well i'm not gonna read it it's apple leaves and um festive decor bad words it's fall AF, okay? Um, I've been waiting by? for fall since last fall. Yeah. It is by Evil Queen. All right. This one is amazing. Okay. Think of when you cut open an apple. Nice, juicy apple. In the fall. In the fall, and you smell the juice of the apple. Yeah. Because that's what it smells like. Oh, God. It smells so good. Oh. I haven't been able to burn them yet because I wanted to show them on the podcast. But, wow. Now I know why my nose is running. It's because they're covered with a fine layer of dust. It was very, very dusty. <laughs> okay, and this is also by Evil Queen. Um, this is called Scaredy Cat. It's not Halloween until I get spooked. This is pine, cypress, and spooky stuff. This one... You know how some people cannot wait until like it turns to August so they can do pumpkin spice? I cannot wait for the first hint of cool in the air so I can get my pine candles. Oh my, oh my god. All right, Evil Queen and Bossy Pants. We'll see if we can find links to them because yeah. these candles are amazing. They, they're uh, soy. Um, we need to do soy candles because we both get very violent headaches, like migraine level from headaches. From the chemicals and the others. It's from the chemicals and the others. So we do 100% soy, and this is just. She, uh, boss, uh, who's this? Evil Queen is in Traverse City, Michigan. What does this one say? She doesn't have it. Yeah. Um, 
Anyway, yeah. I'm going on to Evil Queen to find all my candles right. because I love them. Yes. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to start burning them. Yeah. Helen is working downstairs packing things. I am working upstairs sewing on things. We're going to have one up here and one downstairs. Yeah. And the house is now going fall. I mean, it is the 15th tomorrow. So we're very, very close to the fall equinox. So we can oh. safely. Plus, yesterday, um, Sunday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday was very um, summery and humidy. Very humidy. <laughs> um, and then yesterday, what was it, about 3 o'clock? It's like the wind shifted. Yeah. And this morning, it is perfect. Yep. It is crisp. It is clear. Clean. The air is clean. It's still warm enough that you're not in a sweatshirt yet, but tonight we're going to be able to wear sweatshirts when we walk, and that's <laughs> the best night of the year. I know. <laughs> I love it. I love it when you put your sweatshirt on. Um, You've got your shorts or your skirt on and your sweatshirt. It's right. like the best oh, way. Oh, my life. God. So, yeah. The fall is here. Yeah. I love this weather. Love, 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 There's love. There's going to be a week somewhere along the way where it becomes 100 degrees and humid. Indian again. summer, but... But it's still... The change has happened. Yep. It's we just, just our monarchs. We haven't had a lot of monarchs this year. Uh, we've had some, but not a ton. Yeah. So there, some years you get a lot more than others. Yeah. Um, but we've had them slowly over the summer. Yeah. So it's been okay. It's been all right. Those flowers on the back porch have attracted a lot of different wildlife. So it's very cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, quick aside. <laughs> One of the things um, that we, we talked to quite a few people about this weekend, um, uh, several of you came in and, and talked to us about how upset you were that we weren't going to be dyeing yarn anymore. And um, it's, um, we're starting to get next year into focus now as to what we're going to be doing and what we're going to be doing when. And there will be some yarn. Um, it's just that it's not going to be available all the time. It's not going to be available um, all year long. It'll just be, we're thinking of how many collections? Probably two. Right. Right now that we would have a, like a spring collection and then a fall collection. There'll be, you know, bigger collections, not the six or seven colors. It'll be like, you know. 10 or 12. 10 or 12. Um, so that when we opened up everything in September, it's because we're retiring all of those colors. Right. I mean, those will not be coming back and it's not going to be yarn available all the time on the site. Um, it's just when we do the collections, it'll be available then and then there'll be a break and then they'll do another collection. So we're thinking um, of one in the spring for Maryland right. and one in the fall for New Jersey. Right. And that would take us through fall shows. Um, and so it would only be like two collections that would be only available while the yarn is available. While, right. And we would only dye a certain number. Um, and then that would, we would be moving on to other things. Right. Um, but it, the way we've been doing it now, it's that, you know, there's always yarn available on the site. And yeah. it's going to be after December, all the yarn's coming down. So that's why we wanted to open it up to you now. Right. But um, we said to a couple of people this weekend, you know, we're going to be doing Maryland Sheep and Wool and... We personally cannot go to Maryland Sheep and Wool without wool. Yeah. So um, we will have a collection for Maryland. Because I don't see us ever just, you know, not dyeing yarn. Right. I mean, I still send my vet things like, you know. All the time. Inspiration. You know, hey, this would be great as yarn. And she and sends back to me, we're not dyeing yarn anymore. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> uh, but uh, so that it was never that we would never dye yarn anymore. Just we need to make, to push the yarn aside for a bit to make time for our the other things we want to do. Right. So, so um, it'll just be that much more special. Right. Because it's only available a couple times a year. And so don't despair. There will be new colors coming. Right. Just not till May. Okay. On that note, the yarn is open through the end of September. So right. if there's any colors that you want, go and get them. If there's any color that you wanted that you don't see there, please let us know. Right. And we will let you know if it's possible for us to dye it. Okay? Yeah. All right. I think that covers that. All right, then. Shall we show some knitting? Sure. Um, was there anything else about the show that we wanted to talk about? I don't think so. There was a sheep that was... It's only at New Jersey. 
This is the only place that I've done it where I've seen it where a sheep goes by on parade. The, the lady's got her on a leash. They just walk the sheep. They it's walk like walking the sheep. your dog. You yes. Just walk the sheep. And this particular brand of sheep is very much like a dog. She says that um, she, um, she, she knows some commands. Pretty like, sure her name was Hazel. Okay. She knows some commands like sit and stay and fetch. And she just sits next to you and waits to be petted. Yeah. She was She's beautiful. about the size of Hugo. Yeah. She had a cream color with a black face. So nice. I will put so a picture of her. I will put the picture. Perfect. All right. And we were in our same spot so that we got to watch the dog trials. It was very, very yeah. cool. Very cool. So yeah, no, it was, it was a good Yeah, they weekend. didn't seem to do it as often. Saturday I think, was I think warm. Saturday was too hot. And, and Sunday, Sunday was pouring, pouring rain. rain. So, um, <laughs> the poor sheep were out in the pouring rain, but I don't think the dog wanted to be out really. Right. Um, but yeah, no, it was, uh, it was. The weather was typical New Jersey. It was hot one day and it wasn't chilly. <laughs> I was going to say polar opposites. But it wasn't chilly. Right. Because usually when it rains on the second day, it's also 40 degrees because you do 90 degrees and 40 degrees. Oh, but, do you remember that Allentown we did? Where, where it literally really... was like 90 degrees one day and 45 the next. Yeah. That the was, drop was... I think that was us. That was the last one we did. It may have been. I don't know. Yeah, that was just... oh, Beginning of well, April. We did, it, we did one in uh, New Jersey, too, because I remember us on a Sunday, all of us, all the vendors were wandering around when we had, were all wrapped in all of our shawls <laughs> and our samples and everything like that. I think we so were we against the North Wall that time. Yeah. And it's just like, you know, it was a slow day. And it was just yeah. Like, so <laughs> it's it's always fun. Always fun. Fall in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's show knitting, shall we? Yeah. All right. Do you want to go first? Sure. Okay. I uh, picked up my City Limits sweater, which I went back and checked. I started last year on the way home from Seth. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because we were putting together fake kits at Seth. Oh, right, right, right. Um, I remember that. And I, and I remember saying, I have... A really long drive, so I'm going to start the city limits sweater. Okay. We saw a whole bunch of people wearing them. So the city limits is by Tannis Fiber Arts, and it is a fingering weight sweater, but you hold the finger fingering double and you fade your colors. So I. This is going to look like a sunset. This is, oh my God. I love this so much. Oh my word. So up top is Curious George and the Bunny. And what you do is you, you knit with that and then you, so you're knitting uh, two strands and then you drop one of the strands and pick up the new color. So your, your fade is that you're, uh, you're knitting with both colors at the same time. So this is um, Curious George and Michaelmas Fairy together. Oh, wow. And then you go into straight Michaelmas Fairy. And then, I mean, oh my God, look at Michaelmas. And James and the Giant Peach together. Oh. And then you have James and the Giant Peach by itself. James and the Giant Peach with Autumn at the Hollow. And I have just started the two Autumn at the Hollow by itself. Okay, I'm going to use sweaters worth of Autumn at the Hollow. Yeah. I just love the way these colors fade together. It is so pretty. I mean, the only thing that's like really stark and doesn't fade so much is Curious George, but I kind of like that up here yeah. on my face. And then I am ending up with Willow Fairy. So my next thing will be to do Willow Fairy and Autumn at the Hollow together, and then just Willow Fairy. So. You knit the sweater inside out because the sweater itself is the garter side. Really? Yeah, or the pearl side. Um, I don't think I'm going to wear it that way. Because that's the way it's supposed to look. Okay. Wear it. I much prefer, I think. It will be a reversible sweater. Yeah. I'm just thinking it'll be a reversible sweater. The stuff on that side. What size needles are you doing it on? Um, eights probably. Okay. Yep. Now, 
Now I want to make one. Surprise, surprise. Right. It is a uh, raglan sweater. Top down. Top down. Piece of cake. Um, you do a, a seam, a faux seam on either side. I cannot tell you how much I adore James and the Giant Peach and Autumn at the Hollow together. Yeah. That's this here. God, I love that so much. Was James and the Giant Peach's uh, like an orangey speckle. I just, oh, God, I love it so much. It really does look like a sunset. So I'm trying very hard to get it done for this year's staff so that it's my, you know, my year-long project. Come okay. To, come to fruition. And if I keep knitting on it, I should be fine. Yeah. Because I've only got a couple more inches to go um, of the body and then the sleeves. And two, it's a DK knits up so quickly. Yeah. So. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. That is gorgeous. So again, City Limit sweater. It's been out for a couple of years. Um, oh, I'm going to have to do something up here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to pick up for my, my neck. Yeah. Oh, and you know sleeves. Oh, well, no, I, no I, knew, I said the sleeves, but I, I, okay. do, I do have to pick up for the neck. But other than that, okay. it's just really cool. And it's so fun because you pick... What have I got? I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've picked five colors uh, from your fingering stash. You're knitting a DK sweater, so it goes together quickly. Right. Um, and you have plenty left over for sleeves and everything? Well, I've already done the sleeves for Curious George and Michaelmas, and those are okay. the two I don't have a ton left. Actually, Curious okay. George, I have a ton left of, okay. which is good because I adore this color. Also, probably your sweat, your collar. Yeah. Um, Michaelmas, I, I pretty much ran out of. Okay. But I still have... Okay. James and Giant Peach, which I started, and I'll have plenty. Okay. So. All right. So, City Limit sweater. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I am continuing along with my shaved ice that I am doing by Casa Pinka. I am doing mine in our Enchanted Forest colors on tweed. I am now done two fronts of my V-neck. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I am coming up the back. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm doing the back. I had this out and I was showing people how the tweed we, looked. We sewed so much tweed because you were knitting on it. However, at one point I pulled it up and I pulled the needle out. <laughs> I said to Helen, you know, I could just say, live stitches, everybody freeze and everybody there would know exactly what I was talking about and would freeze. Um, so this is where I am right now. Uh, this takes, this is going to be short sleeves. So it's just like cap sleeves type of thing. Um, or I think you can make the sleeves as long as you want. So that's the way, that is what the front is going to look like. So I did thorny bushes on top. Guardian of the forest is the next part. The uh, magical mushrooms and the ends is at the bottom. And you fade these by doing a couple of rows where you're alternating the colors into each other. So it's like striping. Yeah. But it fades but really well. It does. Well, these colors yeah. fade really well together. But it's not like you look at it and think, oh, there's the stripe. You have to kind of look and say, oh, okay, that's where yeah. you striped it. So that's the way it's going to be. Um, I'm really very, very excited about this because it's getting to a point where I'm like, oh, I might finish this. I'm going to finish a Casapinka. I was going to say, and then we're going to have to call Casapinka and say, it has happened. Mary Beth has finished one of your patterns. You may right. retire. So there you go. That's the way the back looks right now. I love it. I love the way the colors look together. I think it's going to be gorgeous. It is. It is. So very, very happy with it. It's going to look fantastic with like jeans. And, yeah. It's just a jeans kind of tweedy yeah very very pretty so that's where i am right now i am um coming up the back and we shall see we shall see we shall see i am working on this and this alone so um as far as my knitting is concerned so it's getting my full attention yeah 
All right. Um, so that is it for knitting. Yeah. On to our next segment. Because, you know, we're so good at going from segment to segment. Um, we have plans for this weekend that don't involve working. <laughs> Would you like to tell them what we're doing? Sure. Uh, the New Jersey Quilt Shops, yeah. well, I kind of got that they're in the area. Uh, the New Jersey Quilt Shops are running what they call the New Jersey Shop Hop. Um, so it's kind of like a yarn crawl, but with uh, quilt shops. So you go from shop to shop. Um, there are eight shops involved from all the way up northwest to down south. So um, we're going to try and get as many as we can done in one day. Uh, toting some dogs along. Right. Um, we may stretch over to two days. We yeah. shall see. It's very exciting. Yeah. We're, we're I mean, really looking forward. I don't have to work. The weather is supposed to be spectacular. I'm going to quilt shops. I get to go look at fabric. <laughs> I look at fabric. And they're um, all putting out pictures of like their projects that they're doing right. for this. There's lots of Halloween stuff. And I think they each have a, a, a specific quilt just for the shop hop. Right. Um, so They'll have uh, kits for that, and so the biggest downer is going to be, you know, I cannot spend all the money, right? But because you know, I don't have any fabric. Oh God, we really should not the, bring any more fabric into this place. My goal is to not duplicate anything that's already here. <laughs> okay. All right. I think we should be able to do that. So, I'm very excited. Um, I don't think we've been to many of them. We've only been to like a couple of them. So it's and one of them, the, them, one of the ones that we did moved. So yeah. they're in a new spot. Right. So we haven't been to the new early girl quilt. So yeah, now we've got a whole bunch that we're going to go visit and see. We're really excited about yeah. this. Um, so yeah, no, it's, it's going to be fun to go out and visit shops as a shopper. Yeah. Um, and do something like that. Right. And, and uh, it's going to be perfect weather. Hopefully we'll get some video so that we can uh, share yeah. our day with you. And uh, then next weekend, we are off to the Adirondacks for the Adirondack Fiber Festival. Yep. Um, so for those of you up in uh, upstate New York, we will be there uh, Saturday and Sunday. We were setting up on Friday, driving up Friday, setting up, and then there Saturday and Sunday. Okay, hopefully we'll see some of you there, but this yes. is not this weekend, the following weekend. So it's what, the 24th and 25th, 23rd and 24th, something like that. 24th and 25th. Well, today's the 14th. On the 23rd. 21st. 28th. No, that's all. No, 21st, 22nd. Set up on the 23rd. 24th and but, 25th are the actual festival dates. There you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think that does it. Yes. I think we are done. We have got work to do. We hope you guys are enjoying this gorgeous weather. Yes. Um, I was watching somebody on TikTok making cheesy potato soup. I'm like Ooh. almost time. Okay. Almost time. Yeah. If we do it, we'll put up a video because it's like everything prepared. You use hash rounds and okay. Okay. you don't have to do anything except pour things into a crock pot. Okay. We'll, we may try it. It doesn't we'll use velveta, does it? No, okay. it does not, but it does use cream cheese. But that, so that's, that's, that's fine with me. That's yeah, your problem. That's my problem. But we, we may try it. And, and it say, is a problem. I don't like cream cheese. I don't. That's all there is to it. All right. Hope you guys have a wonderful week. Go forth and create. We will see you next week. There will not be a video on Friday. We will see you next week. Right. And we'll let you know how the shop up went. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye.